Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn the manual therapy skill to deliver the scapular and glenohumeral mobilization with movement technique to treat shoulder pain and stiffness in those patients who complain of limited shoulder elevation or abduction movements. This technique is a slight modification of the four point correction technique which we have already covered in our previous videos and in this we also include the glenohumeral joint mobilization along with the scapular correction. So let's get started with the practical demonstration of this technique. So to deliver this technique the therapist makes the patient assume the four point kneeling position and now let's say we are treating the left side shoulder joint which is having pain and stiffness and because of which there is restricted shoulder elevation movement. So now in order to correct the positioning of the scapula as well as that of the glenohumeral joint the therapist stands on the same side of dysfunction and now for treating the left shoulder the therapist right hand thenar and hypothenar eminences are placed over the lateral border of the scapula with the fingers hooking along the medial border the left hand of the therapist thenar eminence is placed over the clavicle at the sternoclavicular joint and after positioning in this manner the therapist starts correcting the scapular dysfunctions so first the therapist depresses the scapula and then adds the adduction movement and then finally rotates the scapula downwards and after this the therapist compresses both the hands together and this helps in correcting the winging of the scapula now while maintaining all these four corrections the therapist now asks the patient to try and sit back on your heels and in this way the trunk moves away from the shoulder thereby increasing the shoulder flexion movement and then come back and six such repetitions can be done during the first trial and then we can again check back on the improvements that we have gained. Making the patient assume the four point kneeling or the quadruped position also enables the therapist to keep the upper limb in the close chiromatic chain and thereby we can get a posterior glide over the glenohumeral joint and helping us to gain maximum shoulder elevation or flexion movement. Another important thing to be kept in mind is that if we are delivering the right glide then the technique is going to be totally painless and comfortable for the patient and patient is going to report no problem whatsoever in going back and sitting on the heels and coming forward. Now if the glide doesn't suit the patient then there are certain modifications that can be done and one such important modification is altering the position of the glenohumeral joint. Like in this case we started with the glenohumeral joint in neutral rotation. We can start adding external rotation and then again try with the technique and we can keep on increasing the external rotation maximally and then again try with this technique. Similarly the intensity of the glides that we gave to the scapula can also be modified by the therapist and we can look for an optimal positioning which gives patient the maximum relief. Do try this manual therapy technique especially on patients who complain of shoulder pain and limitation in the range of motion and who have rounded shoulders and exaggerated thoracic kyphosis as these are the patients who develop these scapular malpositionings which we have discussed and with this technique we can successfully restore the positioning of the scapula and that of the humeral head within the glenoid cavity. I sincerely hope that the information shared in this video is going to be helpful for you all. Do keep motivating us with your comments and feedback. See you all in our next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing and stay connected.